Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to use Logitech MX Master 4 for video editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, in this video, I want to cover uh, adding the Premiere Pro specific plugins to your actions wheel and getting this mouse to actually work in Premiere Pro and uh, mapping the thumb wheel for timeline scrubbing using gestures for cut, copy, paste, some more essential features and also leveraging haptic feedback for frame perfect edits. So let's start uh, from the beginning. Um, first, I want to I want you to download and install this uh, Logitech specific application, which is uh, the Logic Options Plus. You can find it on the official Logitech.com website. It's free to download and it's designed specifically for this mouse. Uh, once you download and install it, uh, uh, sign into your account in there. And then uh, to see your mouse on the devices list here, you just have to connect it to your computer using any connection type that you like. Uh, so once you see your mouse uh, on this uh, in this application, just click on it, and now select the buttons um, button stop on the left side of the window, and then click Show Actions Ring, and then click uh, Configure Actions Ring, and now let's download a Premiere Pro specific Actions Ring. Uh, to do that, click the purple shop icon in the top right corner of the screen. And now let's find the Premiere Pro plugin here. Uh, you can either use the search field that you can see right here, or you can just uh, find it on the plugins list. There, there are not too many, to you, you don't have to search long. Just uh, click install next to Premiere Pro, click continue. And once it's installed, I will first want uh, to show you how to get it to work in the Premiere Pro. Because the first time I tried to, uh, it would uh, it would end up uh, in uh, crash crashing the program. So uh, if if you want to, if you have the same issue, I'm gonna show you what to do. So first, open the Premiere Pro uh, on your computer, and then in Premiere Pro, select Edit in the top left corner of the screen, and then select Preferences, and then let's go to Control Surface. I'm not sure if you see it from from, from there, uh, but yeah, Control Surface tab, and here you uh, have to, you should be able to find uh, Logi plugin in Device Class menu. But if you can see, uh, if you don't see anything here, or if you basically don't see this Logi plugin here. Just click remove, or, no, if, if you don't see it here, don't, don't click remove, click add, then uh, drop this list down, and then select logic plugin device class, and click OK to confirm, and then click OK once again. OK, and from now on, by pressing the actions ring on your mouse, you'll be able to see the uh, Premiere Pro specific features. And now let's uh, talk more about uh, editing these features, adding some essential ones. Uh, let's time. Uh, let's start with timeline scrubbing. Well, first of all, I find most of these features uh, usable, uh, but these two don't seem reasonable for me. The clip speed 150, clip speed 50. I, I, I think. I, I, I mean, I get the idea. But uh, the thing is, uh, you can't even use them without first opening the speed duration menu using the Ctrl R shortcut in Premiere Pro. So, so you first have to open the, the speed uh, menu, and only then will you be able to use them. I mean, uh, at this point, it's it's not even worth uh, having these two features here. So. Uh, Instead, I, I'd i like to delete them. To do that, tap the three dot uh, icon next to the action's name, and then select delete action, then do it for both of them. If, if you want to follow uh, follow along with me, of course, you don't have to do it just like, like I do. You can uh, place all the actions in your own way. Uh, and now let's, uh, you can add an action by selecting uh, one of the actions on this list and just uh, grabbing it and dragging it to the plus icon you can see right here but uh, actually what I want to do is create a folder of actions so uh, let's create a folder for tra time scrub uh, scrubbing timeline scrubbing uh, to do that tap the three dot icon next to add uh, an action icon 
and select create a folder. And now let's add some uh, timeline scrubbing actions. Uh, as you can see here in the direct uh, transport tab, we have jumped to next point of interest uh, and jumped to previous point of interest. For some reason, maybe I'm, I don't get it, or maybe they don't work properly for me. But but for me, these two two uh, uh, these two two actions actually what they do is they actually jump to to the end and to the beginning of the timeline, which is I, I don't think it's it's very usable. Instead, I'd like to use uh, edit points. So uh, click the search. I can right here and search for edit points. Okay, and so we have go to previous edit point and go to next edit point. Uh, this way, uh, it's it's I find it more convenient to move uh, through the timeline. So let's use the net go to next edit point and go to previous edit point and let's place both of them in this. Uh, in this actions folder okay I just lagged for me let me delete, delete this one action uh, and so okay right now I, I don't find these two, two icons very uh, intuitive I, I'd rather use arrows instead so in order to uh, edit your icons quickly just tap the three dot icon next to the actions uh, name and then select edit icon and then uh, since it's the next edit point I would just like to use the right our right icon and then let's uh, make a quick layout by clicking right here and click save and now this looks way better for me uh, and I'll uh, go to previous edit point let's also edit this one icon and then let's uh, replace it with the uh, left arrow let's also lay it out and click save okay and I'd also like to add the add edit feature since it's very uh, very often used in Premiere Pro, so let's search for add edit and let's uh, add it right here. Okay, uh, and now let's also add some gestures for cut, copy, paste. So let's add some new uh, folder here in a very same way, and now let's add the copy. Uh, action by dragging it to the plus icon and the cut action and the paste and now let's see how this all works for now so let's open the Premiere Pro application let's go to the file let's open some recent project okay I don't have any any Anything on my timeline? Okay, let's create a new project and just uh, let's let's just select some uh, sample sample uh, media. Okay, here it is. Let's import it. Okay, here we have our timeline. Now let's press the actions ring and use our uh, our new newly added actions. So go to the next edit point. Well, and it works well. Go to previous pro, uh, edit point also works well. Now let's try to cut the video. As you can see, exposure also works well. So what you have to do is uh, just hold your thumb. Uh, is just press uh, press the action swing with your thumb, and then uh, hold the left key of your mouse on the exposure uh, on the exposure icon, and then you can change the exposure real quick. As you can see, it's all, it actually changes it in, in, in the real time. Uh, yeah, it's very, very useful thing. So, so right now, let's uh, try to add edit by selecting the add edit uh, icon. And as you can see, it works uh, perfectly. Now let's use some co copy paste things. So let's copy this clip and let's paste it right here. Okay looks well for me let's try, try to cut it out and let's so, uh, paste it right now okay so i think it, this simple layout will improve your day-to-day -day experience with premiere pro but now let me uh cover the last thing uh, let the last thing the last topic of this video which is the haptic feedback 
So let me close the Premiere Pro. And now let's go back to the to the main uh, window. Select haptic feedback. Haptic feedback and, and now here you can change the haptic intensity by selecting one of the available presets. So subtle, low, medium or high. Whatever feels best for you. And uh, that's basically it. That's everything I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you for watching it. If you liked it, consider subscribing to our channel. Leave us a like in the comment below. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.